Guys, in today's video, I will provide you with a VIP mode of Phoenix OS, which not only includes the premium version of Panda Gamepad Pro, but also offers complete Play Store support. This means you can easily download and install any game you like. And talking about system requirements, you need at least 4 GB of RAM to run it perfectly. However, if you have 2 GB of RAM, it will still work, but you might face issues with some games. So, that's enough talking for now, and let's move to the PC screen and understand the whole process practically. Let's roll. First, let me show you my PC specs so that any doubts you have about the system requirements are cleared. As you can see, my PC is just 2 GB of RAM and a 2.40 gaze processor. Talking about the GPU, I currently have an Intel integrated graphics card, which is completely useless. So, now that you know the specs, let's move on to the main part. First, you need to download all these files, and their download links will be available on my website. If you don't know how to download them, make sure to watch the video linked in the description to understand the entire process clearly. First, extract the zip file. Once extracted, you will see a folder from which you need to launch the setup file and install it like a regular software. <laughs> After installation, close it and go back to the same folder. From there, copy the file that matches your PC specifications. Since my PC is 32-bit, I will copy the 32-bit file. Then, paste this file into the main directory. In the next step, you need to extract the Grub to Win Setup and launch it quickly. I have already installed both required files, so now let's move to the next step, which is creating a partition. For this, open Disk Genius and select any partition you like. Make sure that the partition you select is completely empty and has at least 8 GB of free space. Now, right-click on the selected partition and choose the Format option. Then, set the partition system to EXT4, leave the volume label empty, and click on the Format button. This will format the selected partition. After formatting the partition, Create a new folder inside it and name it VIP in small letters. Then within this folder, create another folder and name it data. In the next step, we have to extract the second zip file, which is going to be the main ISO file. Since the file size is quite large, it will take some time to extract. Once the extraction is complete, copy the following files from this folder and paste them into the partition created in Disk Genius. Make sure to copy only the exact files mentioned and do not touch any other files, otherwise, your OS might get stuck during booting. Along with these, also copy and paste the following boot file into the same partition. At this point, our work is almost complete, and now let's move to Grub. After opening Grub 2 Win, click on Manage Boot Menu and choose the Add New Entry option. Next, in the drop-down menu, select Submenu and type VIP Console as the title. Then, click on Edit Custom Code and paste the code you downloaded earlier directly into this section. So, friends, our work here is now finished. I will restart my PC and record the remaining process using my phone. After restarting your PC, you will see a boot menu. From there, select Grub. Then, choose the boot entry you created earlier and select the corresponding option. At this point, the loading process will begin, so let it complete. Once it's done, you will see an interface appear. Simply proceed to quickly set it up as needed. As you can see, the VIP version of Phoenix OS has been successfully installed, and it's running very smoothly. First, let me show you the Android version of the OS. As you can see, it's running Android 7, and you can also check the kernel version. In addition, this Android OS comes with Panda Gamepad Pro, which is premium key mapping software. Talking about game installation, there are two methods. You can either use an APK to install the game, or you can download it directly from the Play Store. The most recommended method is to download the game directly from the Play Store. I tried a few games here, and they were running very well without any issues. Overall, the Android OS is quite good, and you should definitely try it. However, if you're looking for a low-end Android emulator for your PC, then the playlist on the left side is for you. Click on it and I'll meet you there.